What's up guys, Phoenix here, and it's time for another mail day video. This one specifically is something that I most definitely want to do on camera because uh, it's pretty goddamn expensive. So uh, if something's wrong with it, then uh, you most definitely believe, you can. You best believe that there's going to be uh, some uh, some backlash from from myself. In fact, why did I just do that when, uh, when I actually could just pull this open? I'm actually a dingus. Well, nope, maybe not. It's looking like it's not cooperating with me. Um, I decided not to black out any of the information on the uh, package. I just decided to flip it upside down because like if I need to return it uh, then blacking out the images or the, the information on it does not help my cause. Alright, so we'll shift in the bubble mailer so that's already you know, good sign number one. Um, and then number two is that it's wrapped in an invoice with a top loader. So, that's good. Uh, let's see. Come to Papa. Are you taped inside the invoice too? Jeez. Thoroughness. I like it. Specifically for what this order is. Specifically for what I know this order is. Which is apparently a double-sided pot of desire. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's two pot of desires. It's the two pot of desires that I was missing. Um, funny story, I went to my one of my locals and they said that they had four of these in stock. And so I placed an order for them. And then after 20 minutes of waiting for them to process my order, while I was sitting in their store, they come back to me and they're like, oh, hey, by the way, we only have one of these. Our website was wrong. And I'm like, ah, good, good shit. Like, <laughs> glad I didn't just waste half an hour of my time. Um, but I mean, it's whatever, because I ended up just getting a better deal for them off uh, eBay anyway, even though I just had to wait a couple days. But anyway, two copies of Pod Desires, making my playset set uh, full. This is something, this is a card that I personally just really like uh, in this format. Um, I hated this card when it was announced simply because of the mindset and the way Yu-Gi-Oh was being played out at the point in time. But this card is very interesting in the fact that it's the only card in Yu-Gi-Oh that I've I've said this a couple times by now, but it's the only card that's ever been printed in Yu-Gi-Oh that's ever made me completely have to rethink my way of how the game is functioning. Um, and it actually brought a lot of like like information to my to light of like why I actually probably wasn't like doing that well during that format is that I'm used to playing in formats and I enjoy playing in formats that are very resource uh, intensive like Necros, Dragon Rulers, stuff like that. Uh, even like Big BA format for example, like where everything is considered a resource because you can access it so easily. Um, and everything is incredibly resource intensive because the mirror matches are really, really intensive and stuff like that. But this format isn't really like that. Resource, Your resource pool doesn't really matter as much now as it's ever had. Um, in the past, because you don't have things like Necro's mirrors every day, you don't have like Dragon Ruler mirrors. The Pendulum mirror doesn't really matter because you're just like you're whoever draws better just wins, um, and this just allows you to have chances to draw better, and all that sort of nonsense. Like this card is just overall very good in this specific format, um, and like the status of the game right now just makes this card really good, um, which is one thing that a lot of people just don't seem to get. I'll probably make a video talking about that a lot more in depth a little bit later. Um, especially like backing it up with maths and stuff as to why this card isn't as bad as people think it is but um, like this card is I think this card is absolutely amazing right now and the main reason is because like resources have not really it can be argued that resources in your deck have never really mattered less than they do now like you can banish your one copy of a certain card and it doesn't matter just because of the tempo of the game at this point because everything is just kind of really mismatched in the format um, if it was like a best deck format like, where like it's literally necros and then everything against necros or dragon rulers and everything against dragon rulers and you're playing tons of mirror matches, then this card just kind of... This card's really not the greatest there, although it is, you know, manageable through deck editing um, and, like, proper deck building. But overall, uh, it just... Uh, ultimately, it's it's got a really nice niche in this format, specifically because of how the game has shaped up in the past couple of months. But anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think about the fact that I just... For some reason, I just can't stop dropping money on this game, which is really strange because, like, a couple months back I hated this game, but it was probably just due to my misunderstanding of how the game is uh, shifting into being less resource-based and stuff like that. Um, because there are definitely ways that this game has changed so much in the past year that, like, just were alien to me. Like, I understood them, but they just, I didn't want to accept them and stuff like that. But I definitely enjoy this game a lot more now than I have in a long time, um, interestingly enough. Uh, which is kind of why I'm spending money on it again. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about uh, Pot of Desires and stuff in the comments down below. Like I said, um, I'll probably make a different video explaining like everything about Pot of Desires that I feel like is very relevant about it. Um, and if that's something you're interested in seeing, then definitely drop a like on this video. If this video gets to like 200 plus likes, then I'll probably actually just do that video and do it as quickly as possible. If you guys want my uh, rather intellectual like based video on these sorts of things. I did that top 10 video and it was very intellectually founded. Um, and very analytical, and a lot of people seem to really like that. So if that's the direction people want me to take this channel in the future, then I'm 100% down to go for it. But 
other than that thanks for watching as usual again let me know what you guys think about pod desires in the uh comments down below like this video if you want to see me doing an explanation video really in depth on this card and other than that as always guys take care